In fact, number six, the resurrection is recorded in the Bible, and the Bible is the most historically accurate book in history. Oh, I'm, I don't have enough whiskey for this. What the fuck? The Bible, the most accurate book in history? What? The Bible can't even get the persona of Pilate right. Like, the Bible d talks about Pilate as if he's this broken down ruler of Judea, and the Sanhedrin push him around to kill a Jew that he doesn't want to kill. That's not accurate to history. Uh, Matthew and Luke have two totally different origin stories for Jesus. Th there are so many historically inaccurate things in the Gospels and the Bible in general, like Acts being total historical fiction, that you cannot discern truth from fiction in it. You fucking can't. Like, I have no fucking clue as to why he would say this. It's just so demonstrably false. It's just, it's, it, it hurts. Ow. While some people don't want to recognize this fact, it is, make no mistake, a fact. It is. Make no motherfucking mistake. I mean, if you forego any kind of critical history done on it, then yeah, I guess it's decent. <laughs> Biblical scholar Wayne Jackson noted, In the book of Acts, Luke mentions 32 countries, 54 cities, and nine Mediterranean islands. He also mentions 95 persons, 62 of which are not named elsewhere in the New Testament, and his references, where checkable, are always correct. This is truly remarkable in view of the fact that the political and territorial situation of his day was in a state of almost constant change. So, like, let's start at the beginning here. He thinks it's a good argument to say, Luke mentions a bunch of places that were actually real. And he also uh, invents 95 or 62 people uh, that are not named elsewhere in, in history whatsoever. So, you know, he's right on the fucking nose. Also, you know how he doesn't really go into any kind of source uh, uh, source discussion or naming sources or anything like that? Well, you know, where checkable, he is right on the money with the sources. P Luke does not cite sources. The only sources that are ever cited are scriptures. So if you want to say that Luke's gospel matches up with the Old Testament, I'm right there with you. That's the only source that's ever cited. So yeah, Luke's gospel matches with, with the, the scriptures. But with other actual historical information? No. Luke does not record anything historical other than cities that existed that he could have just simply known about by uh, at least being somewhat familiar with the area and then inventing 62 people. He invents 62 people and then copies the other, what, 33? Yeah, 33? I can do math. How How is this trustworthy? It's It's just amazing to me. Uh, it, it how much bullshit they're willing to spin and, and, and what depths they have to go to in order to pump up their arguments. It's like, well, you know, Marvel mentions New York City and that's where uh, Spider-Man lives at. So we know the Punisher's real. You see, the Bible has been scrutinized and criticized more than any other book in the world. And yet it still stands as the most historically accurate book in the world. By who? I mean, seriously, by who? Who considers it? The, the most screw like, do, are the people that are scrutinizing the Bible, are they the ones that think that it's historically accurate? Because that's what your sentence right here kind of makes it out to sound like. But it's actually not. The people that are actually scrutinizing the Bible, being critical of it, come away thinking that it's just bullshit. It doesn't match history whatsoever. The point of of acts being near historical fiction, uh, near completely historical fiction is to say that there's no method to determine historical fact from historical fiction. And if you're at that point where you look at a particular event that acts tells you about, and there's literally no way to determine whether or not it's fiction or real, then you can't use it as historical evidence. As as far as the things that we can actually check against other writings at the time, we definitely know a lot of things were fictionalized, like um, uh, the shipwrecks that happen uh, 
uh, for Paul. Those were fictionalized. Those were copied off of uh, Homer's works, the Iliad and Odyssey. Um, and, and then you've got several different, um, you know, mentions of failed messiahs and whatnot that are directly related to Josephus's work. So we know that uh, that's one of the particular ways that we know that um, Luke was copying Josephus. And so you have all these things that Luke just completely changes around and copies from other people that you, we just cannot determine whether or not it's uh, any particular event is fiction or reality. And at that point, it's unusable. If you can't determine that, then it's unusable. Could it possibly be a mixture of, of truth and, and, and fiction? Sure, possibly, but there's no way to tell. And that historically accurate book, the Bible, those 27 books of the New Testament, they testify to the physical resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the fuck what? I mean, Harry Potter resurrected, but you don't see me praying at the altar of Harry Potter. 